Good evening and welcome to State of Business on our television. I'm Nadun Sirivardhana. Let's have a look at the headlines. Sri Lanka promises to continue the IMF program. Indo Sri Lanka trade dynamics has immense potential, subject minister asserts. News in detail. Sri Lanka is standing firm in its efforts to progress with debt restructuring despite legal opposition from Hamilton Reserve Bank. In a critical response filed by Clifford Chance, the Sri Lankan government refuted Hamilton Reserve Bank's claims that recent political changes could derail the restructuring process. HRB, a creditor pursuing claims in Sri Lanka's 2022 sovereign default, has argued that the election of Anur Kumar Adisanayake as president introduces uncertainty, potentially jeopardizing the country's economic recovery efforts. The bank has challenged Sri Lanka's request to delay litigation. However, Sri Lanka insists the government remains fully committed to its IMF-backed economic program despite leadership changes. They argue that a stay in proceedings is essential to focus on restructuring which is crucial for economic stability. As the case awaits a decision in the US district court, the outcome could have significant implications for future sovereign debt disputes. Further, the Minister of Foreign Affairs Vijitha Herath said that the trade dynamics between India and Sri Lanka has immense potential to grow with a special focus on key sectors. He also highlighted the potential to increase tourist arrivals from India to Sri Lanka through more air connectivity, speaking at the 78th Independence Day celebration of India held in Colombo recently. The trade dynamics between India and Sri Lanka have immense potential. India is one of Sri Lanka's largest trading partner providing essential imports that supports various sectors including agriculture, health and infrastructure. In return, Sri Lanka offers India strategic access to its markets and resources, enhancing our own economic landscape. It is heartening to note that the close ties between the two countries, two nations, holds immense promise for the future. The total two-way trade has increased over the years. Beyond traditional trade, we are also witnessing a growing interest in investment and technology exchange. Indian companies are increasingly investing in such key sectors. As economies in the global south, Sri Lanka values the partnership with India in the economic front. I note that last year, Sri Lanka's highest tourism food fall was from India amounting to appro approximately 3 lakhs. However, for a nation with the 1.4 billion population, there is tremendous scope to promote tourism with increasing air connectivity between our two countries. A Sri Lankan parliamentary delegation participated at the 149th Inter-Parliamentary Union Assembly, which took place from October 13th to 17th in Geneva, Switzerland. This event brought together over 630 parliamentarians from 130 countries, showcasing the world's dedication to strengthening parliamentary cooperation and governance. Representing Sri Lanka, Secretary General of Parliament Kushani Rohanadira and Chief of Staff Deputy Secretary General Chaminda Kularatna took part in various key meetings. These included sessions with associations of Secretary General of Parliament, the Asia Pacific Group, and the Standing Committee on Sustainable Development, among others. Their involvement provided Sri Lanka with valuable insights into global parliamentary practices. This year's assembly featured diverse participation with 54 speakers of parliament, 36 deputy speakers and a notable 36% of attending MPs being women. The Sri Lankan delegation also engaged in discussions with prominent figures including IPO President Dr. Tulia Axon and key members of the Gender Partnership Programme and Sustainable Development Goals Initiative. They further met with Dr. Lina Buglova from the International Atomic Energy Agency, underscoring the importance of international collaborations in areas like nuclear security. Stay tuned, we will return after this commercial break.
Welcome back. The Central Depository Systems Limited has partnered with Sampad Bank PLC to enhance the dividend disbursement services available to listed companies. This partnership aims to improve the efficiency of capital market operations and offer greater convenience to both companies and investors alike. Under a new service agreement, Sampath Bank will provide its total dividend solution via their cash management suite, which CDS will adopt to serve its clients. This system offers various disbursement options, such as electronic fund transfers, check processings and other customized methods, making dividend payouts faster and more reliable. Rajiv Bandaranaika, CEO of Colombo Stock Exchange, stated that this collaboration sets a new standard for dividend distribution in Sri Lanka. He said that companies can now focus more on their core business while shareholders benefit from quicker error-free transfers. Now, the BYD Colombo Motor Show 2024 is set to take place on the 6th, 7th and 8th of December at the BMICH in Colombo. Organized by the Asia Exhibitors and Conventions Private Limited for the 18th successive year, this event promises to be a game changer for Sri Lanka's motto industry. The BYD Colombo Motor Show 2024 is proudly sponsored by BYD and powered by John Keel CG Auto. It provides a premier platform for suppliers and innovators in the motor industry to showcase their latest products and services. This year's event features a wide range of exciting activities, including a motor car show, a spectacular 4 bound 4 off-road vehicle exhibition, a vintage car showcase, and demonstrations of car audio, video, and security systems. There will also be a show dedicated to car care products and an adrenaline-pumping display of bike stunts. The festive season has officially kicked off at NH Collection Colombo, where a grand cake mixing event was held to mark the beginning of this joyful time of the year. NH Collection Colombo is set to continue its celebration throughout the season, offering guests an experience with seasonal menus, festive decor and unique holiday events. Newly appointed General Manager Jan Dikaix expressed his excitement about the event and his role at the hotel. With over 20 years of international experience in luxury hospitality, Dikes brings a wealth of knowledge from his previous roles with prestigious hotel brands in Europe, Asia and the Middle East. He shared his enthusiasm, stating that the cake-mixing tradition perfectly captures the spirit of the season by bringing people together to create lasting moments. Chef Priyanta Virasinghe, Director of Culinary at NH Collection Galambo, along with Chef Namal Kalubovila and the culinary team, led the guests in mixing a delightful array of festive ingredients. These ingredients will soon be transformed into a range of indulgent holiday treats, including Christmas fruitcake, mince pie and a variety of Christmas cookies. The culinary creations from the cake mixing event will be available at the restaurants, promising a delightful festive treat. Stay tuned for the stock update. Trading at Colombo Stock Exchange ended on mixed notes today. The old share price index dropped by 3.77 points to close at 12,309.33 and the S&P SL20 gained by 1.81 points to close at 3,624.75. The turnover was 1.4 billion rupees and over 71 million shares were traded. Up next are Forex rates. That's all our news for today. For this and more, subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Facebook. Take care and good night.